Hi everyone, it's Mark from Brave Auto International in Japan. I'm at USS Nagoya checking some cars on a Thursday afternoon, and this high ace here is one of them. Um, this one here is for a customer in Canada who wants a high roof high ace to turn into a uh, camper, and I've got a very, very, very low budget. So um, to buy the vehicle for them is not going to be easy. Um, but I've, I'm trying to help the person out because they're fairly new to importing and I've got a funny feeling they'll probably end up getting their fingers burnt um, you know like many agents will just sell them or tell them whatever to buy but you know I'm trying to help them so they don't you know doesn't turn out to be a disaster so this type of vehicle normally I would say no leave it um, but what I'll do is we'll go through it and um, yeah we'll take it from there okay the auction sheet okay it's a 2000 model uh, high ace three litre turbo diesel uh, automatic two-wheel drive long wheelbase done 161,000 k's from new uh, it's grade three okay um, and it's not that bad a condition really Okay, what I'll do is I'll um, I'll start at the back, and then we'll fire it up and have a look inside. In it. Okay, the underbody is fairly clean on it. Um, it's got a little bit of surface rust starting up the front, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, you've got a dent here. See that? It's obviously been dented quite a while ago. It's been touched up, and this is it's not rotten in here. This is just where the paint's split. Okay. Um, so you need to address that there okay your rear bumper's got a split here um, this customer isn't worried about the body um, they just want a cheap diesel high ace to turn into a camper but um, yeah I still like to look at them and make sure you know they're not sort of buying something they shouldn't be okay the bumper there's got scuffs on it okay go down you've got a little scratch here a little bit there, don't worry about that. Okay, got some scratches here. Okay, paint's funny here in this, this position. You can see that or not. Okay, headlights need replacing. They've gone yellow and got cracks. Front bumper down the bottom there has got um, scuffs. Okay, all around the front there as well. This here is just dirt, it just, it just needs a good clean. Okay, on the roof, a dent. It's actually a U3 on the sheet. I don't know if you're about to see it or not. Okay, it's only a light dent actually, but it's a large light dent. So I wouldn't really worry about that. Okay, headlight on this side, same. All this will come off, you know. See it coming off there. Give it a polish and it'll come up. Bumper on this side, scuff, same. The other side. Same, it's just dirty down here. Just needs it clean. Okay, if you can see there or not, you've got a dent there. I'll just show you the uh, surface rust I was referring to. Not sure if you can see up under there or not. It's only minor. Okay. Right. Okay, we'll have a look in the back. Unfortunately today they're still parking cars up the top here so I can't move this car out like I normally do and then move the van out um, Otherwise I'll get told off Okay, it needs a good clean inside. You've got a um, aftermarket um, Cover mat thing here Okay, you've got loads of scuffs and scratches in the back here Okay, you got um, teapot doilies on the seat Which my grandmother would love she was still alive. 
Okay, you've got a little storage type thing up here. Very high, the roof's really nice, nice and clean, tidy. Okay, you've got curtains obviously all around. And if you're wondering what's happening with the seat up the front there, I've just got it lifted up so I can show you the engine. Okay, the curtain on the back here is electric. You can open it and close it from the front. Okay, we'll just close this down. Okay, you've got a reversing camera up here. Okay, got a huge um, electric auto or automatic step that comes out. See it come out there. Obviously you can see the seats um, face in many different directions. Same again in here, it just, it just needs a good clean. You know, it doesn't smell smoky. Um, it's actually not been smoked and the ashtrays haven't been used. You've got aircon controls over there, as well as up here. Okay. that step goes back away when you close. Okay, let's go around the driver's side. Nice midnight purple R33 GTR. There. Okay, just got a couple of chips here. Okay, door panel's just getting a bit of wear here. You expect that on 160 odd Ks, even I'd have a bit of wear. Okay, seat here is not torn, it's just gone flat on the side here. See? And same here, this side here is good, you know, there's nowhere. Okay, with these doilies, doily seat covers, they're actually factory, Toyota. Okay, what you gotta watch cars that have these fitted is this one's good. Normally they've got a line running across here where one side's faded, the other side's not. Um, you know, a lot of these sports cars, or the, the you know, the 90s, early 90s sports cars can have these seat covers like this. And when you pull them up or take them off because, you know, they are a bit embarrassing to look at, these half doily seat covers. When you take them off, they're, um, it leaves a line and it looks quite terrible. It looks like two-tone seats. Let's take the key out of there, stop the beeping. Okay, steering wheels, um, you know, it's just getting a little bit shiny around the edge here. Okay, it needs a good clean in here as well. Okay, you've got aftermarket stereo. Um, air conditioning, which all works, I've had that going. Um, as I was saying about it not being smoked in. Okay, you can see that or not. Okay, you've got normal automatic, you've got power, normal mode, overdrive here. Okay. And it tells you up on the dash here as well what gear and okay I'll just fire it up obviously it's gonna be a bit noisy because I've got the uh, uh, engine lit up okay it's got ABS braking um, I've moved it backwards and forwards in here um, the gear selection's good, you know, it's, 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 the shift is not floppy or anything like that. There doesn't seem to be any thumping on the gear change. Um, but bear in mind, this is not a test drive in here, so until I get it out in the open road, um, I can't say it's perfect, but we're halfway there, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's go around the other side. Okay, door panel on this side is really good. Okay, I don't know what the motor sounds like on the camera mic. It's hard to get mics that record from behind and record in the front of the camera that aren't the size of a, um, a megaphone, if you know what I mean. So if it sounds ticky, knocky or anything, it's not. It's actually quite really nice in the motor. Okay, cam belt I can see was replaced at 96,000 Ks. So it's going to drop this down. Just bear with me for a second. OK, 
Okay, just got some latches down here to use. One on each side. It's hard doing this with one hand, holding the camera. Okay, you've got here electric mirrors, rear heater control. Okay, obviously it needs to clean in here. This is sand in here for some reason. Okay, seat on this side's all good. Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem to smoke at all. Um, you know, it's not sort of puffing out like a train or anything. There's nothing coming out of it at all, actually. Okay, well, we want to give it a couple of bursts in a second. Oh, the good thing as well for a camper, all these windows here slide, 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 and exactly the same on the other side. Just turn the camera out the back here, then I'll give it a couple of revs. Cold. So don't worry about that. It's not black. Thick black smoke, really. Okay. Electric windows. Automatic on the driver's side. Got central locking. Okay. Just switch her off. Okay. So that's your um, 2000 model Toyota Hiace 3 litre diesel. Automatic at 161,000 days, grade three. Um, yeah, I think it will be uh, probably a little bit more than your budget, but while I was here, I thought I'd have a look at it for you. Okay, that's lot number 3700. And that was Mark from Brave Auto International in Japan. See you later.